It was good. It was uh, just, you know, obviously did uh, some some football stuff like we like we all do around the league during that bye week and just go through and, uh, you know, figure out what we can do better, you know, what, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, crossing our T's and dotting our I's, uh, but also uh, to, to just be able to get away and just be with the family. I was with them basically 24-7 after we got out of this building, and, um, you know, it was, it was good. It was, it was relaxing from that standpoint. Is it um, more helpful or more challenging playing a team so close? Um, it, there, uh, that's a difficult question. I mean, it's you just kind of deal with it, you know. Uh, this isn't the first time that's happened. The one that just popped in my mind was 2015 um, when we were in Atlanta. Uh, we played uh, Carolina. They were, I want to say, 12 and 0. We played them at third place, and uh, they beat us 41 to nothing. And then we played them two weeks later in Atlanta and beat them 14 to 10. You know, and that's that's just the the definition of any given Sunday in this league. You know, and so I'm, um, there's there's advantages, there's disadvantages. You just know that no matter who you play, whether it's the New England Patriots with, with uh, Bill and his staff or anyone across the league, what you saw, you know, two weeks ago or, you know, two games ago, there's there's definitely going to be adjustments from both sides and, and uh, you know, uh, we got to be ready for them. Mike, Robert talked yesterday about uh, the last Patriots game and how those four or five plays are teachable moments for Zach. What did you teach him? What do you think he got out of it? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, – after after the emotion of that game wore down, and, and the next day, I mean, he you know he knew, and, and us as an offense knew what we needed to get corrected. It wasn't just him. Obviously, he's being the quarterback in the spotlight, and, and some of the mistakes were made were were very preventable. You know, it's one thing to throw a pick, and, and I know he said this, and I know you guys all know this. It's one thing to be just aggressive and, and you know try to fit one in there, because, and, that, and that's the league, right? I mean. You, you got to you got to be aggressive to score points in this league, um, but it's another thing again to just uh, to to be careless with the football, and and that's just something that he learned right there. You know, um, I don't even know on the second pick if he was careless. He literally just missed not throwing it out of bounds, which. You know that can't happen, and uh, you know so just all those little things. But there was there was good plays that he learned from too. And hey, how this is how they could adjust, or this is how I could get it done even a little bit better. So every every moment out there, especially for a young quarterback, is a teachable moment. How much of it is the Patriots? I mean, his two worst games came against the Patriots. Is it something schematically, or maybe the pressure of trying to do too much against? The yeah, I don't, I don't think it's the uh, pressure to try to do too much uh, against New England or anybody. But uh, yeah, I mean they've you know historically. They've done a great job. Uh, they've uh, historically done a very good job against young quarterbacks. Uh, but that can't be an excuse. We got to go out there and play our game. He's got to do what's best, uh, you know, for this Jets offense and, and obviously for the team. Uh, but again, you know, credit to those guys. They 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 make um, not just young quarterbacks. They make a lot of, um, you know, offenses. Uh, you know a difficult challenge on those Sundays, particularly in the last, you know, five or six weeks. They're statistically one of the best teams in ball right now, and, and it shows when you pop on the tape. Um, they're, they're doing a lot of good things. Why do you think that is? They do do it against all quarterbacks, but specifically against young quarterbacks. They seem to able to get them off their rhythm all the time. Yeah, I think they're just extremely well coached, you know. They've just historically, again, on, you know, a lot gets said about Tom Brady and what they've done uh, there with the offense, and no doubt, but um, – to, to be able to win the amount of champions that they, that they have, it's it's been team ball. And uh, whether it be the special teams, which I don't pay too much attention to and what's going on from the schematic standpoint there, but uh, on defense, they just do a good job of changing it up and, um, you know, attacking uh, offense's weaknesses. Well, I guess it's saying like this, is how do you walk that line as far as, like, aggressiveness and – also, not trying to be too careless with the ball. Is that well? That's that's it right there. We got to be aggressive in all facets, and that, that's not just talking to the quarterback. That's that's our, our left guard, our right tackle. I mean, it, everyone's got to be aggressive in their mindset and how they go approach. Uh, you know what their job is. You. You know, uh, Sal has been kind of saying it all week. You don't got to make the play. You got to make your play. And your play as a left guard is going to be much different than the receivers, but but that's your play to make on that particular play, you know. So um, we, we never want to be reckless. We never want to be careless at all for 60 minutes, for 17 games. Mistakes are going to happen. They get paid too. Uh, but our mindset is we got to go attack. And attack doesn't mean we're going to – you throw the ball 70 times. That, that's not what that means at all. It just means attack within your fundamentals. Be aggressive. Be confident in what you're doing. You do that by going out there Wednesday – Thursday, Friday, attacking the game plan, going through the practice so that when you're out there on Sunday, you're out there able to execute at, at, at your best ability. Is New England the type of team where the first time you guys played them a couple weeks ago, you might have had a defense where they gave you a look and they did X off of it. 
Will they give you that same look now on Sunday and try to do why to confuse it and confusion? If so, if you have to like tell Zach that even if you think this is coming, it's probably not what's coming. Yeah, I mean to to an extent, you don't want to you don't want to. Uh, I, the word that popped in my head that I'm not going to say, but you don't want to plant seeds in his head that are, are untrue. You know, you just got to react. You go out there with the with the foundation of our offense. You go out there uh, with the f foundation of how we coach him. Um, you, you know, you pair that up with the game plan we're going to have, and you go play, and you react as fast as humanly possible, and there's going to be opportunities to, to make plays down the field, intermediate, short, and there's going to be other times where they're going to have the right call, and, and, and Zach and the offense has to do the right thing, whether that be throwing the ball away, whether it be scrambling uh, and, and going and making a play, whether it be checking it down, you know. So, um, don't want to. You don't want to say hypothetically too much to any quarterback, let alone a young quarterback. They got to go out and play. I mean, it's it's football. There's so many variables every single week. Yeah, what New England does is, um, you know, uh, it's very good, very well documented, as we all know, uh, statistically and historically. But at the same time, um, it's football, and these guys got to go play. That Elijah Moore, um, a lot of. Reps in the last game, I think it was like 27, but no targets. Is, is why did that happen? Yeah, no, I think that there there were there were opportunities there in terms of um, you know sometimes with the X and F they're they're very interchangeable within the system. Sometimes the Z gets paired up with the Y a little bit more, and the X and F are, are paired up a little bit. And there was opportunities where we were running the exact same concept where you know a coverage would come out, and uh, for instance, we hit uh, uh, Garrett on a little RPO in the second quarter that. In the third quarter, we ran the exact same one. They happened to play man. That was the one that Garrett caught one-handed out of bounds. It was the exact same concept. It just was a different coverage, you know. So um, I had answers for both, and you know. So that's just one example. But again, he he's um, he's attacked it. He's in a great mindset, and uh, you know, when his time comes, he's going to be there to make a play. Last year with with Elijah, it seemed like there were several times where he was getting the ball that weren't necessarily the traditional pass passing. Like you were handing it to him, end arounds, things like that. Is that something that you might look to go back into the well again to try to jumpstart him? Yeah, no, there's f for sure. I mean, there's again, we had some of those uh, plays in, not to get too far involved with it, but all I, I feel like we have a lot of guys that can do a lot of those things you know uh, obviously Garrett got uh, a few in the uh, the last New England game but but you know I don't want to give away too much of our game plan or anything like that but um, you know I, I, from the backs to the receivers there's a lot of guys that uh, you know we uh, are always going to think about doing those kind of things this team held you to your lowest rushing total of the year how do you get that corrected yeah, I mean, um, again, uh, not to get too far uh, deep into that, but, uh, you know, we've shown uh, not just the offensive line, but the tight ends, the backs, the receivers. It, it, it takes all 11 in the run game. It takes me calling enough plays. It takes the, the scheme uh, to be right, to put our guys in, in the situation. When you play teams like New England, uh, the scheme's not always going to be perfect because of everything they bring at you. Uh, there's going to be guys that are going to be unblocked in the hole, and, and backs got to understand that. And you got to go get a grimy three yards when 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 that's your play to make, you know. So uh, we pointed them out. We're going to keep pointing it out. We got you know obviously three more days to to, to continue that. But again, there's it wasn't just the run game. There's so many facets of this thing that uh, you know allow us to to get the number of runs called or the number of plays with, that we want to called. I think Zach was pretty effective getting the ball out of his hands quickly in that, in that Bills game. But what is it that, that he does that he's like more successful in, in like that those type of situations? I guess. Yeah, I mean, it, it's that was um, just kind of his mindset and kind of how the game uh, unfolded, you know, again, as, as he's going through this learning process of um, not always trying to make the biggest play. Again, you can get the ball out of your hand by getting the ball checked down or getting the ball uh, thrown away, whatever, and that's going to take away from whatever statistical or analytical time that he's been holding on to the ball. So I thought he just did a great job uh, when one was open or two was open or the check down was open, just getting the ball out of his hands and uh, allowing us to continue on drives and, and really from kind of about midway through the second quarter on, uh, I know it was two weeks ago but you know for for that lat that two quarters and and, and uh, the second quarter being able to control the ball and keep that really really high powered buffalo offense off the field did anything stand out to you about zach from the way he went from that new england game to the buffalo game um, no, not me. No, uh, not his teammates. Because uh, I've always said it: like um, this kid is very, very resilient. He does not. He cares uh, about winning football games. He cares about getting as good as he can possibly uh, be. He cares about his teammates. It's, it's cliche, but uh, I swear by it, and that's why I believe in this kid so much. You know, because he is extremely re resilient. I. 
he was going to go play the best game possible in, in, in Buffalo, whatever that meant, you know, and he was going to go do his job. He was, he was going to learn from his mistakes. And, you know, there's, there's still going to be mistakes out there, no doubt, you know, and whether he's a second year, third year, or in his 15th year, whatever it might be. But uh, he's a resilient, tough-minded kid, and, and that's not going to change. No one's going to break him from that. Do you have to guard with Zach because he is young um, and, and how things went the last time you guys played the Patriots? If they wanted to kind of go out and, and almost like – you know, kind of exercise those demons where it's like, you know, he struggled a couple of times against the Patriots. This is kind of, he's got to get over that hump and maybe trying to be a little too aggressive at times just because he wants to erase from everyone's mind what happened last time. I No, because I don't think he's made of that makeup. You know, again, it, it kind of goes back to what I've been saying about him. Just he's got to go do his job. He's got to do his 111th. He's got he's to make the right play, whatever that play is. Hopefully I call a whole game where number one's open. That's not going to happen. Uh, hopefully number two is going to be open because of that. Hopefully our protection uh, is perfect. Hopefully our, he's got to make the right play. And he can't worry about what happened in the past. He has to learn from what, what, what's happened in the past. He has to learn from what happened in the Buffalo game and how some of that stuff can translate over to the you know this next game uh but um, i'm not worried about uh, him or anyone trying to go out and do too much they just got to go do their job and again when uh, they got to make you know their play not the play